So I just filmed this wedding and I am planning on hiring out a remote video editor to help me with some of the deliverables on this. We will be using the Blackmagic Cloud Pod or the Blackmagic Cloud ecosystem for this. And I just kind of want to go over how we have this set up. So we haven't imported any of the footage yet into this project. This is something that the original media holder needs to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that real quick. I've already pre-organized my folders. So I got my Ursa, my Inspire 2, the DJI Lav Mic, Canon R5C, and Zoom H6. So let's wait until I change the project frame rate. Yes, we want that. I'm just going to go through and import all my media. Okay, and we have our media imported now. So the idea behind this is I'm going to be sending proxies to my remote editor using a cloud pod on the other side. So let me go over on how I'm going to set that up. I could use the Blackmagic proxy generator, which works really good for Blackmagic RAW and RED and ProRes clips and R5C clips as well. However, it doesn't work very well with RAW DNG, which is what this footage is. Yeah, see, 5K DNG. So I'm gonna go into the little gear in the bottom right of the screen. Go to Proxy Generation Location, Browse, go to Network, go to your Cloud Pod. I'm just going to select the Cloud Pod route. Proxy Media Format. H.265 is going to be the most appropriate one for what we're doing. We'll do half. I don't need to be sending 5K clips over the internet, but my editor needs to see clear shots. So hit save, and then we're going to go ahead and select all, generate proxy media. It's going to go ahead and do its thing. So I'm in the root of the cloud pod right now, and you can see it created this proxy media folder and it's going to replicate the directory that your original footage lives in. So in this case, on my main editing raid, it's in a folder called Weddings, The Wedding Project, Original Footage, Inspire 2. It's right there. So it's going to continue to build all this stuff out. So because we are not using the proxy generation tool for this, I will have to manually copy our audio files. In this case, just the DJI Lav Mic and the Zoom H6. So now the proxies are done generating to the Cloud Pod in this Inspire 2 folder. And I'm going to open up this project on another machine. Before I go and do that, I'm going to enable multiple user collaboration and hit save. So now I have this project open on the remote machine I'll be using for this video. And I'll go over the relinking process here. So we generated proxies for just the Inspire 2 folder. Oh, see, everything's offline. That makes sense. There are no drives attached to this computer. So I'm going to select all with Command A. Relink proxy media. I'll go through my network, get the cloud pod. And you see, it's the same directory you had on the Windows machine. Inspire 2. And there it is. Look at that. So that wasn't too bad. It only took a few clicks to relink our proxies to our remote editing machine while we are on the remote computer. So while we're here, we can actually start pulling selects. 
go ahead and start a sequences folder. And then we'll go over to the edit page here. Use command N, create a selects timeline. Let's just verify what our settings are here. 1920 by 1080 is perfectly acceptable. And the first thing I like to do when pulling selects is actually do this in the cut page. Go to our Inspire 2 folder. Let's go through and use JKL to just pull a few clips here. And I have R mapped as drop. Go through here. And then let's go over to our main machine and see how it looks. So now we're back on the main machine where the original footage lives. And I'm just gonna go ahead, refresh bins. You see there's that sequences folder that we made on the other machine. I can go ahead and double click that. that. Now what's cool about this is that we just pulled together these three clips from just proxies. This computer has the original footage, so I'll disable proxies. And we're now working with the original 5K footage.